I don't understand why so many people really dislike Coach Prime. Like, all he do is talk about God, like, encourage people, try to win like he's a great father. Like, I, I don't get it. So, I seen this online, and I never seen or heard of this guy. Day in my life, Doc Holliday. And the reason I seen it was because Coach Prime responded to this message. Let's listen to this real quick. It's one minute. You may, hey Dion, Coach Prime. You may see this, you may not, but I gotta. I don't know if it's a question, but I remember when you went off, when you were coaching at Jackson State, when you said somebody stole all your stuff out of the coach's locker room, and you pretty much lambasted the university, lambasted the city, and how? Could that happen? You know. Seem to be pretty peed off. And seem to be going at the school and the university pretty hard. And the program, football program pretty hard at Jackson State. Now, according to reports, the same thing just happened at the Rose Bowl when y'all were playing UCLA. So really need to see that same kind of energy and that same kind of outrage that you were showing when you were at Jackson State. Got to now. Come on now. So that's basically y'all get what he's saying in the video. Why you don't have the same energy you had there. Now, I can't find Coach Prime response because Coach Prime responded then blocked him. He responded with a regular Coach Prime message. God bless you, brother. It is two whole different situations. I'm too blessed to be stressed. That was kind of what he said. I don't see it anywhere. Here, but basically, that's what Coach Prime said. Too blessed to be stressed, right? With anybody with common sense, like, buddy, you just you just wanted some attention. You got a few thousand subscribers. Coach Prime, he had time today. He gave you some attention, and he blocked you so your light went out. Number one, Jackson State was the university he was coaching at. That was his school. So nobody don't suppose to steal from you in your own house. It's like your family's stealing from you. So yes, you're going to hold them accountable. He was at UCLA. That's not his house. <laughs> he don't, he's not prepared for any, any of that stuff. So that's just dumb. So he did, uh, the press, you know, his weekly press conference where he responded to it and he had to do these. So he was going to say something about it. So let's go over what he said and i'm not gonna block it out i don't think they're gonna give me a copyright from playing this let's see uh, okay let me address this you know our kids got robbed during the game last week i think that's a travesty and we i would expect the ncaa to do something about that um, these are college kids um, i'm pretty sure they don't think about insurance at this point in this juncture in their life we've so it won't get copyright. Let me give some some feedback. When he said they don't have insurance, because a lot of people said in my comments, why the kids don't have insurance? Why the kids don't have insurance? A lot of grown-ups don't have insurance. On a card, people don't have insurance. So these kids don't know nothing about no darn insurance. Talked about NILs and how to really maintain their finances. We've pretty much uh, given them financial planners and, and, and given them the resources for that. But the insurance part of it, we slipped, and we didn't uh, really educate them on that. So I wish, uh, I know the kids would be forthright in what was stolen, and some of our just uh, staff members as well. And now all that stuff should be replaced. This is the Rose Bowl. They said the granddaddy of them all, right? I'm sure granddaddy has some money. Grandpa should have some money to get these kids. Um, <laughs> <laughs> granddaddy better have some money so i agree yeah this happened on y'all campus our players supposed to be safe y'all got the money we gonna give y'all a list of it pay it gonna have a list made out from these young men and i know they're gonna be truthful about what they lost so we could try to get that back for them they may not be able to get the items back but we should uh be able to reimburse them that was unbelievable but i did hear that uh the home team was robbed as well so 
think of that. UCLA, allegedly, where I'm here, got got too. So it wasn't even just Colorado. It was a home team. So UCLA need to be coming out saying something because y'all at home. Y'all at home. And then he responded to the haters like my man. Um, You planned for everything. And one thing you couldn't plan for was was the theft like that. But so what kind of safeguards do you put in place to make sure that nothing like this happens again for your team? Well, like what? Well, I, don't, I don't understand. Like, I just make sure, like, uh, no, no kind of theft. I mean, oh, we don't get robbed. Yeah. I mean, oh, we, we, we leave our own security. We don't depend on someone else's security. We leave our own security in the locker rooms and make sure we're straight by our own means. But you, you got to understand that was on the road. You're not thinking like that. You're not even thinking like that at home. So that was, t- and you're in the Rose Bowl, man. Like, who robs the Rose Bowl? <laughs> who? Who robs the Rose Bowl? Somebody. So, uh, but the kid, a lot of the things were emotional th- things that were giving to them, like chains and necklaces and gifts. And you got some idiots online saying, well, they shouldn't have that. So they shouldn't be blessed. They shouldn't be blessed. That's, that's crazy. It's like if you have a car in your driveway and somebody come and steal your car. Well, you shouldn't have a car. That's how stupid that sounds. Yeah. These are young men. Uh, that worked their butts off or they were blessed and gifted by their family members to give them whatever what was stolen. I know someone had a significant amount of cash, uh, one of our camera guys, and uh, that's, we pray to God that he gets that replaced. So you guys heard it from Prime and he addressed UCLA. He said the college Y'all usually come down on everything else. Y'all coming down on Jim Harbaugh every single second. If you wink at somebody, y'all coming down on them. If kids wave at somebody, y'all coming down on the kids. Y'all are going hard with everybody and anybody nonstop. So, hey, here go it. Here goes the NCAA. Our players get jewelry taken from them. They get money taken from them, our coaching staff, even UCLA team possibly got some stuff stolen from them. So, NCAA, y'all got to come and address it. Or UCLA, y'all have to compensate these young players because, like you said, a lot of these players get these chains as gifts because we're old heads. A lot of people that watch this is 40 and older type of deal. So it's like, man, why these kids got to have all of these jewelry and gold chains and we sound old and just this is what they do this is their generation we we did dumb stuff so they want to wear gold chains if the quarterback got a grill and gold chain it's cool to do all this type of stuff everybody else is going to do it because you want to be cool so your parents are going to buy you a chain whatever it is save up some money because everybody not making that big money everybody on that team not so yeah a lot of that stuff needs to be replaced what's your thoughts in the comments